North Texans continue to walk down the road to recovery from Monday's flooding rains. The Texas Baptist men are walking along with them, helping them start over again. And Fox 4 Sean Rabb, deep in southeast Dallas, where the men are at work. Hi, Sean. Hey, good evening to you, Clarice. In fact, the men just wrapped up work for today. Texas Baptist men just pulled off. But you know, they always answer the call, whether half a world away or right here at home. This stuff goes out this door. Inside a Southeast Dallas home, Texas Baptist men. Well, we'll try it and see. Creating a plan of attack to carry out the contents. But when we get in here, guys, let, let's, let's empty these rooms first. Larry Keyes watching them work in his water-wearied home. They had three feet of water in this house. It pretty much they ruined everything in there. You don't have very much time when it comes, and I don't think nobody's ever prepared for it, right. you know, even if you know it's coming. Larry Keyes, wife Deborah, and their four dogs saved from flash flood waters Monday by the Dallas Fire Swift Water Rescue Unit. But I tell you, <laughs> them rescue teams are really, really important. You know, uh, I know there's not a lot of people that need them, but when it happens, they need them, you know, and. They get down here and they get you out. And your dogs, they'll take your dogs, whatever, with you. And heavy, it's wet, soaked to the water. A 10-man team from Texas Baptist Men clearing their house, then cutting out soaked floors and walls and cleaning what they can. Team lead Art Brandenburg expects two full days to do the work. At the very end, we will vacuum it, power wash it, get it all cleaned up, and then we'll spray what's called shockwave in there to kill any mold that's maybe growing and to try to keep any future mold from growing. Texas Baptist men volunteers doing the same work in different flood ravaged areas, bringing help, hope, and healing through serving others in disaster. Knowing that we are, that God allows us to come out here and gives us the privilege of doing, being his hands and feet and him working through us to help other people is, is a huge blessing for us. They've been doing this for a long time, so they know exactly what to do. And that really makes a big difference. So, you know, uh, I really thank God for them. And Mr. Key says he is going to try and find a way to rebuild here. He says it's been 20 years since they experienced a flood this bad. And he goes on to say that if he can make it another 20 years before he has three feet of water in his house again, he'll consider himself very blessed.